Words. Words matter. The entire AV industry exists with the simple goal of improving communication. However, no matter how good the technology may be, communication only functions properly when all participants have a common and precise understanding of the mechanisms used to actually communicate. Improper translations between languages, the use of slang, or even quirks like sarcasm can have a dramatic effect on the meaning that is actually conveyed. To communicate effectively with our peers, it all starts simply with the words we use. Prior to joining Biamp, I spent most of my professional tenure in the IT industry, working with distributed computing and networking platforms. One of the things that drew me to the AV industry was the convergence that is currently happening. An increasing number of technologies are being cross-leveraged between both the IT and the AV industries. It's very exciting to be a part of this natural technological evolution, and it's been fascinating to see how technologies, such as AVB, are affecting IT platforms, but also how networking is being adopted by AV professionals. Most industries develop some form of normalized lingo as a way to quickly share ideas. This is true of both the IT and the AV industries. To an outsider, conversations that take place between industry professionals might seem like a foreign language. However, for insiders, it's also easy to develop a false sense of complacency when interacting with other technical peers, especially when their backgrounds or disciplines differ. As I began my journey into the AV world, I quickly recognized several important things. One, the AV industry and the IT industry are very alike in terms of technology, language, and business models that are used. Two, there are many unique terms and definitions that are used within the AV world just as there are in the IT world. And three, there are also many terms and definitions that might automatically bring significant assumptions that may not be correct, especially during a discussion involving a mixed audience of both AV and IT professionals. That last one's important. I've often been confused by a discussion simply because I was used to a different definition of some of the words or phrases that were being used. The bad news is that it can be easy to breed confusion when speaking to an IT pro. The good news is that there are more similarities than differences between the IT and the AV lexicons. Don't worry though, IT folks usually aren't too scary and sometimes we can even be fun to talk to. Stay tuned for the conclusion of this two-part series on communication between AV and IT professionals. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more insights, tutorials, and answers to frequently asked questions.